Miss Shu. A fight? Huh? Song Luo, how many times have you gotten into trouble now? Now tell me, what did Shan Tu do to you? Shan Ti, how are you? Are you hurt I'm anywhere? Fine. Don't lie to me. What are you hiding? Let me see. Look, it's just a little scratch. Just a scratch? Your skin is all red and cut up. Uh, I'm sorry, and you are? Uh, Miss Shu, hello. I'm his auntie. His parents are both abroad right now, and I'm taking care of him. Oh, yes, I remember now. Dee's mother mentioned it. Here, please take a seat. Once Song Luo's brother gets here, we can discuss things. Her brother? Her brother is probably still a kid. What would he know? Young lady, call your parents and have them come here. No way. What do you mean, no? Why did you bully my nephew? I didn't bully him. If you didn't bully him, then how did he get hurt? I had nothing to do with it. Why don't you ask him? Do I have to ask Auntie, him? I... Never mind. It's fine. What are you afraid of? I'm here. Do you call that fine? Look, he's the one who started it. Hey, say something. Why are you hiding behind your aunt's back? You want her sympathy? <sighs> Young lady, what's up with your attitude? Your parents never taught you manners? Stop using your brother as a shield and give me your parents' number. Our parents passed away. There's no number. You're her brother? Yes. Do you know each other? Not yes. really. Well, do you two know each other or not? Miss Shu, it doesn't matter. Why don't we just talk about this problem? What did she do this time? It was like this. Shandi just transferred into this high school. Song Luo is his seatmate. Because of some problem with changing their seats, they got into a fight. Song Luo's friends outside of school waited around after class and ganged up with Shan Ti. I didn't tell them to bully him. Just scare him a if little. If you didn't ask them to bully him, then how did he get hurt? He fell by himself? Apologize. It's not my fault. I just wanted him to change his seat. What's wrong with the seats? I want to be by myself. I don't want him next to me. How about I send you to the moon? There's no one there. Why don't you go back to Mars? Maybe then I won't be so annoyed with you. Listen, if it wasn't for Miss Shu, you would have been expelled from school. You're still rude to other people. Apologize. Apologize! <laughs> oh my. No, it's all right. It's not that big of a problem anyway. Miss Shu, I want to go home now with my aunt. But... Miss Shu, I'll take tea to the clinic first. All right then. Well... I noticed you were preoccupied yesterday. Is it because of that classmate named Song Luo? Why didn't you tell me anything? Auntie, it's such a small problem. It's embarrassing for me to bring it up. Would you like to change your classes? It seems like that student is hard to get along with. I don't think it's necessary. She's an immature kid. I'll just ignore her. I'm just worried that she'll make things more difficult for you. Her own brother can't control her. So what happened to her family? And where are her parents? I heard from my classmates that her parents died a long time ago. Her brother is raising her now. Chofa. What is it, Mr. Song? It was my sister's fault. I apologize to you, and to Shen Ti on her behalf. Just now in the office, I said some things that might have hurt you and your little sister. I should be apologizing to you. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm gonna go then. Hey. What's this about? That's the money I borrowed from you. For food, for the room, and the mobile phone. Oh. Is it enough? Of course. I calculated it. There's more than enough. Really? What is it? Do you want more? Yeah. I find it... interesting to bully you. <laughs> Don't make fun of me, Mr. Song. Your sister bullied my nephew, and now you're bullying me. Is your whole family going after mine, or what? I've already paid off what I owe you and made my apologies. Could you and your family please spare mine and leave us alone now? Okay. Ever since I met you, I've had nothing but trouble. What a coincidence, me too. I'll take care of my sister. And I'll take care of... I'll take care of myself. And I won't bother you anymore. Okay. Fine. Goodbye. See you. I hope never. 
By the way, I wanted to tell you, when you take care of your sister in the future, don't be too strict or else she'll rebel. When I'm strict, she's like this. And when I'm not, she gets even worse. Have you seen any progress being so strict? Maybe you should try to reflect on your own faults. By the way, I wanted to tell you, when you take care of your sister in the future, don't be too strict or else she'll rebel. When I'm strict, she's like this. And when I'm not, she gets even worse. Have you seen any progress being so strict? Maybe you should try to reflect on your own faults. Mr. Song, first off, I really don't want to see you anymore. But you told me last time that you wanted to find out who divulged the designs. So you found your ex? Well, my friend Chin did. But he refuses to speak, and he's hard to crack. So what's your plan? Send me the address. You've cooperated with Yetzi Clothing and Chenglong Foreign Trade, right? Ah. So then, what's your plan now? Mr. Song, first and foremost, I'm really sorry. I didn't have any idea that those were your designs. If I knew, I wouldn't have done it. And please, don't forget we're both victims. You're a big deal here. We wouldn't want trouble, right, sir? Playing the victim. Do you think we deserve this? Hmm? If we don't charge you, what should we do then? Uh, um, uh, Mr. Song, that's not what I meant. Where did you get them? Stop wasting my time. Uh, Mr. Song. I'll speak with Joe Fang. Wow, what a coincidence. What is? Well, you were talking about Mr. Song, my boss. Wang Seyang clearly has a lot to learn. He's screwed. He's your boss? I'm sorry, didn't I tell you that I was hired by the One Fung Group? Song is my boss. Wait, he's your boss? Mm-hmm. Were you aware that I was involved in a lawsuit with your company? If only I had known, I wouldn't have... He wants to speak with you. chance just quit it what do you mean I'm being serious here ever since we broke up I've been regretting what I've done to you I've been a complete jerk to you Fong I'm so sorry what's the point you think that Song Lin is actually going to forgive you listen carefully I don't have the right this is all on him this isn't about Mr. Song I really miss you. 
We were together for a while, so I'm still not over you. You can't just look down on me forever. It was one mistake. Besides, Shen Pei Pei seduced me. Are you the one that got hurt in an accident? Yes, that's me. You remembered. Why are you here? Well, that's a long story. It just happened. Ah. Feeling better yet? Much better. You can get back to work then. Of course, sir. Fang. I know you want to start your... your own original brand. I didn't intend to plagiarize anything. I did this for you. I had to earn more money and secure our finances in order to support you and your brand. So you're trying to tell me that you did all of this just for me. Don't be stupid and face reality before you even start talking about your dreams. Because of you, I sold my house and suffered financially. Are you satisfied? I didn't think this would happen. If I'd known that, I would not have taken the risk. Oh well, I guess I'm just unlucky. Anyway, given your IQ, you'll never understand the consequences. Zhou Fang, I only had the best of intentions. Okay, I get it. But Wang Zeyang, Songlin has so many more resources than you'll ever have. And he's completely out of your league. If you intend to stay in this field, come clean about how you acquired the April designs, as well as the other brands. Because this is the only way you can repay him and move on from this. Just think about it. I swear I really had nothing to do with it. I just got dragged into this. What other brands were involved? There are two or three more. And why did you go for April? Because they're one found brands. Not much difference. But then again, April has a lower price. I want you to give me their contacts. <sighs> we don't contact each other very often. And besides, there's too much going on right now. Oh, I see. You'd like to apologize yet. You show no remorse. There was no point in speaking with me alone. No, 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 wait, Fang, please stay. I wish I could tell you everything. It's not as simple as you think it is. If I reveal the names and they find out it was me, I'd surely be dead. Please believe me. <sighs> Fang, they have a lot of power. And in contrast, I'm nothing. Let's leave it at that, okay? We've been together for years. Please help me out. Yes, of course I'll help you out. But you have to come clean first. And that's the only way. You got that? It's not as simple as you think it is. If I reveal the names and they find out it was me, I'd surely be dead. Please believe me. So what's your plan? He made it clear that it had nothing to do with you. You can do whatever you want. I'll give him some time before he confesses. He'll need it. Mm. What's your next move? Oh, you know, when I had everything, I got complacent. And now I have nothing. Suddenly I want to challenge myself. It's like, it's like starting a new brand. <laughs> That's great. Let me know if you need help. Send me the audio. Okay. What were you guys talking about? The recording, Wang Ziyang, in the future. You think he took this chance to be with you on purpose? Are you kidding me right now? He didn't even want to meet up. All right. We'll see then. Yeah, sure. Let's go eat. Hot pot? Mm-hmm. Sure. Let's go.